Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day. My name is Robert. Glad to have you join us here. Before you jump in, I wanted to remind you about Serve Our Schools coming up this weekend. There's still time for you guys to jump in and be a part of this. You can go to our website, calvarylhc.com, and click on the events page, and you can sign up. You can pick a school. Maybe you've got kids or grandkids at a school, and you'd love to go help us serve our community. Uh, jump in, involve in this. There's still time uh, before this weekend to be involved in that. Now, let's jump in. You know, what what a time this is. Last night was election night, and this was filmed a, a couple of weeks ago, so I actually have no idea how this morning will find us. I have no idea how last night went. I have no idea the, the climate of our country here this morning, but one thing I do know is that Jesus is still at the right hand of God in heaven. He is still good. He is still ruling our world, and so no, no matter where we find ourselves politically and looking at the future of our nation, we can trust in that. But as we look at our passage today, it does have a bit of a feel of that like campaign culture and those presidential moments. Because when there's a celebrity, a powerful person, a charismatic leader, um, there's, a, there's a, a theme that where people want to bring their kids near them and meet them. And, and you have this kind of like blessing and like greeting of children atmosphere with politicians often. But back in Jesus' day, people had an even bigger reason to do this with Jesus, because he brought the possibility of healing, of blessing, and bringing something good to their children's lives. And so parents were often desperate for Jesus to see and meet their children. In today's passage, we see what happened when some people were bringing their children to Jesus for him to meet and bless them. So Mark chapter 10, starting in verse 13, says this. It says, and they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, let the children come to me and do not hinder them. For such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Truly I say to you, he said, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall never enter it. And he took them into his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. Now here's kind of an interesting moment here because the disciples see these children coming, probably parents bringing them there, and they rebuke the people for coming near to Jesus. And I'm sure that this was incredibly well-intentioned. I'm sure they were like, hey, let's not overwhelm Jesus. They're trying to guard his time and attention. They're trying to help Jesus. But in doing so, they kind of stepped into a little bit of a trouble zone and, and got themselves into a moment here. Because Jesus, while this was happening, actually used this as an opportunity to both rebuke the disciples and also highlight an important fact, that he wasn't like any old celebrity or politician that only wanted to deal with the important people, the significant people, the elite people. He wanted to say, hey, I came to associate with everyone. I came to be a service and a loving person to anyone who may have need. But then he also highlighted something really important, and that is the, the faith nature of children. If you've been around children, they are incredibly trusting, incredibly faithful, incredibly generous in that. And, and the example is that children are inherently this way. And when we get older, we often have doubts and hesitations, and we allow those questions to get in the way of us trusting and walking in faith with Jesus. So today, may you listen to the words of Jesus and have childlike faith. May you trust Jesus fully, allowing your faith to override your doubts, allowing your trust in Jesus to overcome your fear, allowing your love of Christ to guide your trust of the future, no matter how the election turned out last night and how you feel about that. Because the truth is that Jesus has created us to live as people walking in faith, walking in faith to who he is, the character and nature that we know to be true of him, and saying, Jesus, I trust you. Even if I have questions, even if I don't understand, I'm willing to trust and walk in faith. And so I pray that you do that. Maybe as we face unknowns today, I don't know, I can't predict the future in a couple of weeks what the election looks like. Maybe it's that, or maybe you've got another unknown. Remember, go to Jesus. Go to Jesus like a little child wants to see someone famous and important and trust in him like a little child trusts and has faith. Because as you do that, God's going to guide you. He's going to bless you. He's going to help you. We hope this helps you. Hope it's an encouragement. Hope to see you this weekend at church, uh, at our Sweetwater, our Parker campus, or online at calvarylhc.com. We'll see you next time.